I have offered to do a gear cutting job for a chap from the Holbrook lathes list. He's refurbishing his lovely old lathe but needs a new lead screw, which includes a drive gear. We start with a montage of me converting the ruler machine to the high speed head. The reason for the high speed head is that whilst I managed to find the right 14.5 pressure angle 14 dp hob on eBay, when it arrived it wasn't very sharp, so the first job was to sharpen it. On a conventional gear hopper, there is a train of gears from the hob spindle to the gear blanks, and that keeps the two moving in the correct speed ratio. But this is now rather easy to arrange with the electronics. By fitting an encoder to the back of the spindle, I can use the computer to move the two spindles in the right in the right ratio, and it's very easy to change the ratio. So as I turn the spindle, you can see the gear bank moves at one fourteenth of the speed, because I'm making a fourteen tooth gear. If you squint along the teeth of the hob you can see that the screw thread is running right to left and that the groove between the teeth is angled to the left on top and to the right at the bottom where the cutting happens. To compensate for the hob lead angle on this machine I can swing the table to the correct angle. This hob needs a 1.75 degree angle. I've made this macro into adjustment to make adjusting the small angles easy. What I need to do is dial in 1.75mm and due to the magic of geometry and that funny shaped cam I should get pretty much exactly 1.75 degrees. I have a quick and dirty GUI for hobbing. It allows me to type in the gear parameters and it will calculate the diameters and tooth depths and also span across N teeth which is the one way to easily tell whether the gear has been cut to the correct depth. In this case it's a 14 tooth, 14 DP 14.5 pressure angle gear and we can see that we would expect an OD of 29.02 and a span across two teeth of 8.41 millimeters. I was sent both the blank to cut and the new gear to measure. As you can see it is measuring at pretty much exactly the normal size of 29.02 there we go and just a fraction under the 8.41 span depending where you measure and this could be due to gear wear. This means that it is a nominal size gear with no corrections which is not as common as you might expect. With gear hobbing it's quite easy to cut less deep into one gear and more deep into, into the other to still make a perfectly good pair of gears but to modify the profile of one relative to the, to the other for strength or wear purposes. As with most machining jobs, the first thing to do is to touch off the tool to the work to set the datums. This is also a good opportunity to check that the teeth get cut in the same place every evolution, which is a good sign that the tooth size, tooth count and blank diameter all match up properly. I then figure out the cut length required and also make sure that the hob can run out and not hit the chuck at the end of the gear.
So anyway, there we are, finished gear. It measures okay with the calipers, so we'll call that done. So, two gears, new and old, ready to be sent back to Derbyshire.